Assalamu alaikum children. Today we are going to learn the wonderful meanings of Surah Al Kalsa. This surah teaches us all about the amazing blessings and gifts that Allah has given the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And it also teaches us what amazing acts of worship we should do in return to thank Allah for such blessings. This surah is very short. It's only three ayat long, but the meanings in it are great. So now let's learn the wonderful words of Surah Al Ghafir. Ayah one. Inna a'tainak al kawthar which means we have given you o muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam the kawthar and the kawthar is one of the beautiful rivers in jannah anas who was one of the companions of muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam said While we were with Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he dozed off, meaning he slept for a little bit. Then he woke up, raised his head, and smiled. So we asked him, "Why are you smiling, O Messenger of Allah?" He, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, said, "A surah has just been revealed to me." And then he recited Surah Al Kawthar. Then the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam asked us, "Do you know what Al Kawthar is?" We replied, "Allah and His Messenger know best." He then said, "It is a river that Allah has promised to give me, and in this river there is a lot of goodness. Its banks are made of gold. Its mud is made of pearls and rubies." Its water is whiter than milk and sweeter than honey. In it are beautiful and elegant birds that have long necks like the necks of camels. Its smell is better than perfume. It has more cups than the stars in the sky. And whoever drinks from Al-Gawthar will never be thirsty again. So Allah gave Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam this glorious river called Al Gawthar. But the word Gawthar has many more meanings because it comes from the Arabic word Al Kathra and Kathir, which means abundance and to have a lot. A lot of what you might ask? Well, Allah gave Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So many good things, such as prophethood, the Quran, the five daily prayers, his manners and character, his worship, his followers, and this ummah. All of these things and more are all from the Kawthar. And because Allah has given the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. All these amazing gifts and blessings, Allah then commands the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam to do amazing acts of worship. And what are they exactly? The answer is in the next ayah, where he says, Ayah two, فَصَلِّ لِرَبِّكَ وَنْحَرْ, which means, so pray to your Lord and sacrifice for Him alone. So why did Allah tell the Prophet to pray after mentioning the Kawthar? Well, because we said the word Kawthar includes many blessings, the prayer includes many acts of worship, such as wudu, purification, adhan, dhikr, Quran, dua, sunnah prayers, Eid prayer, Jumu'ah prayer. Night prayers, humility, concentration, fear, hope, and peace. And as for the meaning of sacrifice, many scholars said that this refers to the udhiya and the sacrifice of Eid al-Adha. So this teaches us that a big gift 
deserves a big thanks and that we should be grateful for all the blessings Allah has given us. Ayah 3 Inna shani'aka huwal abtar Which means, the one who hates you, that person is cut off. This means that the one who hates Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is cut off and will be forgotten. So how does this link to the Kawthar? Well, just as Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was given all forms of good, the enemy of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is cut off from all forms of good. I hope this has helped you understand the wonderful words of Surat Al-Kawthar. Now let's recite Surat Al-Kawthar together. Inna shani aka huwa al-abtar I really enjoyed learning the wonderful words of Surat Al-Kawthar and I hope you did too. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum. We really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs>